they feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. What else did that cover? Can I get can I get somebody like who speaks Spanish on, on the line though? I definitely need that for the six nine um, topic. Other than that, we do have Honeycomb Brazy who apologized to Jay Prince. Remember he said he slapped the fuck out of Jay Prince Jr. Now he came back around and he apologized. He says I just talked to the big homie Jay Prince, which is the father, for like four hours straight on Facetime. He's really solid as fuck and always wanted what's best for me. And he was always there for me my whole bit. I really love the OG and he really stood on business and standing on business, righteous heart felt type shit. You know, we rocking like cut off stockings. I just being brazy most sometimes, but I apologize to you for real. We ain't go going to never do that no more because that was really some bitch shit on my end. And I admit that now J Prince Jr., Need to catch that flight so we could talk face to face. Uh, I got I, I, I to gotta keep it honest with y'all. I thought this was a grown up message. Um, apparently, this Honeycomb Brazy nigga is like super lit. I thought like, you know, he he just got out of jail and like his actions was the most lit shit about him. People been fucking with his music. His music has been mad viral, mad trending. So he's been doing his thing. And um, I, I kind of mentioned him. In the realm of like, shit, I said like Gucci man in 2006, like he been restoring the realness, if you ask me. He been keeping, it, he been pulling all the real nigga whole cards, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of these rap guys come in and they, they, they say they gangster, but when you hear them, they only try to pick on the non-gangster people. He been picking on the gangsters. So I've been looking at him and giving him a lot of respect. Anyway, it looked like he's acknowledging that when he called out or he, he said some stuff about Jay Prince Jr., he was wrong. And I think that's also an adult way to handle it too. You know what I mean? You know, the, the, the fans and people in the middle will make you feel like if you're not, quote, unquote, stand on business, which means standing on even you being wrong, you're not a real dude or whatever the case is. But it's clear to me that Honeycomb Brazy probably had a conversation with Jay Prince, uh, Jay Prince the father, and probably realize, like, yo, bro, I took shit out of context or I'm taking it too far. And shit, we all in a great position and we're privileged. Shit, you know what, bro? Like, I'm going to de-escalate and I'm, I'm, I'm going to apologize. And the mere fact that, you know, he could say that what he did, he considered it. He said some bitch shit. A lot of times, I know a lot of people who end up in a jail of the penitentiary. Or, or, well, they end up in a grave of the penitentiary. And it's because they're unwilling to admit that maybe they did something wrong or maybe they didn't move in the in the way that was, you know, um, to promote either the peace or everybody keeping it cool. They usually just, just double down and be like, yo, whatever I did, that's what it is and blah, blah, blah. blah. But he showed difference. So I, I got a salute to our Honeycomb Brazy. I think he's going crazy right now in terms of the amount of motion and heat he gets. I'm hoping he doesn't get um, incarcerated back again. But based on some of his actions, look like it's definitely it's taking everybody for a ride, which never usually ends good. So hopefully, kind of could rein it back in. All right, let's see what else is going.